Okay, BioCore peeps, this is a quick video to help you figure out how to do calculations for your stock solutions that you'll be using in your experiments this semester. I'll be using the alkaline phosphatase experiment as context for this video, but the ideas and general approach will apply to all of your projects, so keep this stuff in mind as we move through the semester. So for the enzyme experiment, if you'd like to add some compound into your reaction, it's generally most feasible to make a concentrated liquid form of that chemical called a stock solution, and use that solution to pipette a small amount from into your enzyme reaction tube to achieve what's called a working concentration. Now to figure out how to make all this happen in a tidy fashion, we're going to use the old trusty formula from GenChem, C1 times V1 equals C2 times V2. That is, the concentration times the volume of a stock solution is equal to a specified concentration and volume of your working solution, or the enzyme reaction mixture. What we need to do is start filling in this equation and then solve it, and then you'll be ready to start making solutions. So what do we know here that we can fill in? You remember from your calculations last week that the volume of the reaction is 5 mils, so we can plug that into the V2 slot. Now to complete this side of the equation, we just need to fill in what your working concentration is. The concentration that you'll use in your experiment, or in your pilot studies, is generally derived from previous studies that you found through your literature research. For this example, let's say you want to experiment with a new isomer of ethanol called S-ethanol, and you found other studies used it on a similar species of alkaline phosphatase at certain concentrations. So you figure you'll shoot for something in that range to begin your experiment. Let's try 3 millimolar. Now we can plug that concentration into the equation as the C2, or the working concentration. Now we need to fill in something on the left side of the equation in order to solve it. And since we don't already have a stock concentration made, that's the C1, the thing that we're actually trying to figure out, we'll fill in the V1. And what we put here is up to you, because remember the V1 is just the volume of the stock concentration that you add to your enzyme mixture. You can pick any reasonable volume. In this case, I'm picking a half mil because that's easy to pipette with a P1000. And now we just solve the equation. 3 times 5 is 15. Divide by the half mil, and we get 30. The mil units canceled out in our math, so we're left with millimolar as our unit. Now we know the C1 in our equation is 30 millimolar. In other words, we need to make a 30 millimolar ethanol stock solution, and when we add a half a mil of that to our enzyme mixture, we'll achieve a 3 millimolar ethanol reaction. The next thing to do is ask yourself, is a 30 millimolar ethanol solution within its range of solubility? If you're not sure, look it up. This is important because you don't want to spend time trying to make a solution that's impossible to make. If you're beyond solubility, you'll need to adjust the V1 in your equation so that you're adding more volume of a less concentrated stock. Lastly, you'll need to figure out how much of this stock to make. In our example, we said the V1 was 0.5 mils. That means each reaction tube gets a half a mil. So if you have 40 reaction tubes that need ethanol, you would need 20 mils of 30 millimolar stock. The last thing I'll mention about all of this is how to account for the volume of chemical that you're adding to your 5 mil reaction mixture to achieve your working concentration. If you remember the context of the reaction, we put in buffer, enzyme, substrate, and water. So the key here is you can maintain the 5 mil total volume and account for the ethanol you added by simply adding less water. Just add however much water makes the total volume add up to 5 mils. So that's what you need to know to get going. Uh, we're not going to go into making the actual stock solution now because I'll work with you each individually on that. But for now, you need to know, use the C1V1 equation to calculate what concentration and volume of stock solution to make. Good luck. 